Hi, and welcome to Women in Power Active. I'm your host, Jackie Gross, and my co-host is Erica Mann. Um, today, we are talking to my sister, if you can't um, see the facial resemblance, uh, Jennifer <laughs> Gross. Um, I would like to ask you about your athletic background to start. Yeah, in terms of my background, I, I've been a runner for most of my life. Um, more, more recently, within the past couple of years, I've gotten involved with um, boxing and then mixed martial arts and then um, jiu-jitsu, Brazilian jiu-jitsu. And I've sort of become obsessed with, with that, those uh, sports um, recently. Um, but, you know, they're just, and I've, you know, I've done rock climbing um, you know, I've, I've probably been a runner throughout all of those things, but, um, more recently I probably have done a lot more, more martial arts than anything. So that would be kind of my background. And, and before that in high school, I did, I swam, I played volleyball. So I've kind of done a lot of, I'm well-rounded, I guess, in terms of experience <laughs> level. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. That was all great. Yeah. <laughs> you talked about jits. Jitsu. Uh, I did jitsu like on the side. Not, I, I was not that. very serious, but would have loved to been serious. What made you or did have what like made you decide to do jitsu? Um, well, it, it was kind of a progression. It started with boxing. Um, I started started boxing. Um, I don't know, maybe f four years ago now. Like, like I said, time tends to run together for me, but it's been a while now. I started boxing at Title Boxing in Brighton. I live in Hull, um, but I work in Brighton, Michigan, and um, I became obsessed with it. I really liked the stress relief of hitting a bag. And so I, one of the trainers there was an amateur MMA fighter. He had told me about this gym, a scorpion fighting system. And that was in that was in Brighton. That was a was a pr primarily a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu academy. They had but martial they trained martial arts fighters. Um, uh, they have amateur fighters and they have professional fighters, but they also had classes for people who were just interested in learning technique. So I was really intimidated by going there, uh, and I really didn't want to because I have a hard time trying new things. But I he convinced me to go there and try a class and everybody was just super welcoming and it was um I just became addicted to it and the thing I think I like about it is um it's similar to rock climbing in the way that it's sort of like it's it's problem solving like people will call it like the chess of of martial arts because you have to you know it's really all about body mechanics and technique and strategy um especially at the higher levels obviously I, I'm not at that level where I can really try to um you know like people that are black belts or um uh you know even higher belt levels are able to get people to yeah you know fall into traps essentially but um so there's a lot of thinking involved in, in it i just really it appealed to me um it was just and it's also like it's like wrestling but with more less you know just pounding someone into the ground more like finesse involved so it combined the physicality that I love. I love the physical contact, but it also is just really uh, um, intellectual, I guess. It sounds weird to say, but that's how I feel about it. Yeah, yeah. it's very cool. And then through that too, you um, got pregnant with Eva. Um, how did you manage that? Yes, through yeah. jujitsu, actually. You got to be careful. They didn't tell me that when I, no. <laughs> when oh, really? I started. You got to be careful when you're rolling with people. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. I didn't mean it that way. Really? No, no, I'm not ever picking that back up again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Good one. Yeah, so I know what you mean. <laughs> it just It just came out like I accidentally, like, I don't know. Something <laughs> happened. Yeah. Uh, um, yes, I did get pregnant, not from jujitsu. <laughs> <laughs> no, I started. So I was, while I was doing jujitsu, I was also learning martial arts. And at the time, that gym had a women's martial art, pro, mixed martial arts class and program, and women that were. It was really nice because there were women who knew nothing about 
wrestling or you know things that were elements of MMA and then there'd be women who were teaching the class that were uh, UFC fighters I mean that we had a UFC fighter teaching the class we had um, a girl who was like almost wrestle she was like almost Olympic caliber wrestler who was teaching wrestling and you know so there was these people and she's now the um, world champion at Adam weight which is 105 so she's tiny but you would you know she's this tiny girl but because she's so good she could just like, like she could do whatever she wanted to you basically pin you anyway because she's just really really good wrestler so um we there was a high caliber of of uh quality like, of instruction and so it was really it's really nice so i, I kind of became addicted to it but i wanted to perfect my technique and I've, I've worked with several trainers to help me um perfect my technique but one of the the trainer that i I worked with, ended up working with the most is, which is now my, my daughter's father, <laughs> um, Josh Parisian, who's, he's a UFC fighter. Um, he was recently signed to the UFC, but he's been, um, a professional, um, mixed martial arts fighter for a while. So anyway, I was working with him and, you know, we you know, one thing led to another, we started dating eventually. And then that's where Eva came from. But, <laughs> but yes, it was, it was originating. Okay. That, that, that's how the gym ties into it. But um yeah so <laughs> and then I had to contend with trying to be an athletic person while pregnant which was a whole other challenge um I had to stop doing jujitsu for a while or I, I didn't stop entirely because um Josh is a brown belt so he, he would do some sort of pregnancy friendly you know workouts with me but um you can't do what the typical kind of roll they call it rolling which is basically like live you know matches so you can't do that past like eight weeks pregnant, um, more or less, because it, it can be dangerous for the baby. So I had to stop doing it for a while. And now with COVID, I haven't been going to live classes right now because although our gym is open, I'm not not ready to do that right now. So Makes sense. I miss it though. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. So during this time when it is shut down and um, after, you know, pregnancy and everything, what have you been able to do, like, and to stay motivated? Because when COVID is, like, when things open up and we feel more comfortable yeah. going back, you, yeah. you probably want to stay more in shape to get back in into things. So how are you staying motivated? <laughs> That's a good question. I struggled with that. Um, while I was pregnant, um, before the shutdown happened, I was still going to the gym and I was going, I was doing a lot of boxing. That's pretty much all I was doing. And I was also doing something, what I was calling running, but it was really, it was like very, mo very modified running, like, like fast, like, like sl slow jogging, <laughs> um, you know, but I was doing like long distance, slow running, um, and that, and then after, after everything shut down, that's all I was doing. I have a, um, I have a heavy bag hung in my garage. So I was hitting that every once in a while. Um, the pregnancy hormones mean that your hips are really, uh, your hips are really flexible. So I was able to keep doing kickboxing and stuff until pretty much until Eva was born. But, um, the running, it was pretty much kind of what I did during the shutdown. And then after motivation in terms of jujitsu was challenging but honestly, it's um, I feeling. I think the biggest motivation to keep learning and keep improving, because really it is, you, you know, to keep drilling or to keep watching videos or whatever. Sometimes it can get, you know, it, it, drill, the drilling part is is boring, but that's the part people skip because they they want to get to the rolling to the live sessions, and that's the fun part. And the drilling is what you really don't want to do. And when you're pregnant, all you can do is drill. So. Um, my my Josh actually part my partner Josh he was really um, motivating and getting me like setting aside a certain amount of time to teach me new things or review things even when I really wasn't feeling like it he would motivate me to do that or like you know we have certain people that um like there's a girl at the gym that you know I have he, he would do like a session with her for free. He, he he charges people usually to do training I mean I get free training but like um he he does he does know what he's doing and um he's professional I mean so he's in a brown he's a brown belt so he people will pay him you know as a trainer so he would 
offer like a free lesson to some 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 of the people that we knew and we felt more comfortable with um in terms of doing drilling because he's a heavyweight i mean he's 260 270 pounds um so there's there's certain things that just don't work super well drilling with him um so for those types of things he's even like arranged for me to have partners that are not maybe going to an open rolling session but people who are already in our circle in terms of the you know the transmission of whatever but um so the motivation i guess has been he's helped motivate me to stay uh, drilling and stay working on the things that are more boring to be prepared for when things are not as boring but um so i think that's that's part of the the motivation um and then just trying to in general with fitness i think is the the mental health aspect is more important than ever right now so i think that's also been a huge motivating factor to be consistent because it's, it's not an, it's not an option to not do anything <laughs> no right that's so true and that's so cool that I have someone around you that helps support you <laughs> yeah yeah it is I don't I think it would be really hard to stay motivated without that um and he and, and I just wouldn't I mean there are videos you can watch videos you can but with you, when you don't have somebody that can help you drill something or work something through then it, it's harder to it's harder to really fully understand it and he's just a really good teacher so he helps me with that I mean then we all we always goof around and things like that like when we're in the kitchen or something he'll try to like you know get an underhook on me which is like you know like get a get in a good position to try to take my back or like take me down I mean we're goofing around he's not really going to do it but it's like sort of like a practice to like what, what do I do in response to that kind of thing <laughs> so you <Yeah. laughs> too fun yeah. Jenny's always training. <laughs> yeah. Right? <laughs> I know always. he does that. I swear he does that. I'll be in the kitchen, like making dinner, or, like getting the baby's food ready or something like that. And he'll be like, you know, practicing his like kicks and stuff on, like not really obviously throwing kicks because he would murder me, but like he like will throw, like, you know, pretend like he's going to come at me with a knee and I'm like, I'm putting on my de defense to that. And like sometimes I'm not, I'm not about it, but, <laughs> but it is fun sometimes. <laughs> so. 